This is a photo of Moncure Conway, who the hall itself is named after. And this is quite interesting. It's a colour photograph. It's from 1907, and it was taken by a New York photographer called Edward Steichen. And uh, though this might not seem unusual to the present-day audience, but this has a surprising informality for the time. You know, previously, of course, people were always very starchy, very kind of rigid. Ah, oh, here I am, I'm having my photo taken. And, uh, and this one has, has a real informality for the, the turn of the 20th century. And uh, as well as that image there, uh, of Moncure Conway, we also have an invitation to the opening of the Conway Hall itself. There we are in 1929, where you could have seen the actress Athene Sailor and there heard speeches by Professor Graham Wallace, heard Winifred Small there on the violin, and there would also be light refreshments. Religion, Mr. Shaw continued, virtually went out with the Middle Ages. If they read through Shakespeare's plays, they found a man of very great power and imagination who evidently had no well-considered views of any kind, who produced a mass of plays in which he set forth his own knowledge of humanity in a very wonderful way. That uh, is also from the archive. Obviously, that's the heretics, Mr. Bernard Shaw, George Bernard Shaw's uh, report of his presentation about the future of religion. Uh, something else in the archive as well is this letter from George Bernard Shaw, uh, sent to the South Place Ethical Society and apparently on his sick bed where he may have believed he was about to die but then lasted at least two decades more and he gave ten pounds ten shillings but said don't tell anyone. I'm now looking at uh, a register of marriages and the reason I'm looking at this particular page is it is the first marriage performed by Stanton Coit as a celebrant. He'd been out in New York uh, where he'd met Felix Adler and he's responsible really for Conway Hall in terms of it being uh, an, an ethical society uh, and, and losing the, the final trappings of religion, kind of moving to a non-religious humanism. And uh, then after a few years here, uh, he moved on to form uh, the Ethical Union, which eventually became the British Humanist Association. So you can see here his marriages, but because it's a very complete archive as well, if you uh, wish to merely see a photo of him in his bathing costume, you can see that as well.